now uh, let us move on to correlation and regression what is correlation i explained correlation is a relationship between two variables in business scenarios we often encounter relationship and the relationship between two or more variables is called correlation why you need correlation if you understand the relationship between variables that will give an insight into how these data are interrelated and thereby it will help decision making process an analysis of relationship of two or more variables is usually called correlation generally when you talk about correlation you talk about positive correlation or a favorable correlation okay but it need not necessarily be let's move on further in monovariate the variable is y which is a dependent variable and generally the timeline is the x variable in bivariate it is both x and y x may depend on y or y may depend on x so depending on the situation you need to understand rather in bivariate x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable and vice versa also is true in multivariate a variable that varies due to more than one variable an increase in sales for example can be due to advertisement or can be due to certain incentives paid to the sales guys also so this is the way you are able to appreciate the monovariate bivariate and multivariate data i can give a number of examples of correlation you can see all those things i have depicted there they are all generally positive correlation or you know the yield of crop generally grows more when more or different types of fertilizers are used and generally sales revenue if it is more the expenses also go up salaries domestic expenditures clinical trials all these things are good examples of positive correlation a negative correlation is viscosity and temperature this also i explained and supply and demand when supply is more automatically the demand will come down and also contentment and urge the last one is little bit peculiar uh, when you apply more force or apply more stress the performance will increase definitely but after some time more and more force or stress you give it starts giving up and you will find the performance decreases okay so it will be a kind of you know rising up and then falling down that's a kind of correlation now this is a graphical explanation of uh, various types of correlation the positive correlation the negative correlation where this is variable x and this is variable y and there is no correlation in this and this is a non linear correlation again the strength of correlation moves from 0 to minus 1 and 0 to plus 1 and positive correlation it will be plus 1 and minus cor negative correlation maximum it can be minus 1 and that is what is a measure of correlation okay or the strength of correlation now let us understand how to measure correlation the measure of correlation is indicated by correlation coefficient or it is also known as small r the quantity r is called the linear correlation coefficient measure the strength and the direction of the linear relationship between two variables if it is plus then it will be positive correlation if it is minus r it will be negative correlation okay. this is called call pearson coefficient of correlation in the honor of the developer okay 
where n is the number of pairs of data. Now how to calculate Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation and that is given by the formula correlation coefficient r is given by covariance of x and y over standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y. You all know what is standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y in a set of data and covariance is 1 over n sigma the variable minus the mean of the variable multiplied by the variable and minus mean of the other variable and that is what is covariance okay when you simplify it the formula becomes a very simple formula like this and with the help of this formula you can build a table and calculate the Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation very easily now let us take this example this is the index of production over eight years and the number of unemployment or the number of unemployed okay now let us build up the table this is the year and this is the production index and it is the number of unemployed in okay now very simple x square is 100 square 102 square like that similarly y square is 15 square 12 square like that and x and y is just a multiplication of these two and summation of that is given here right and we can very easily calculate the mean so all the parameters that are or the data element that are required for calculating the correlation coefficient is available you apply it in the formula shown in the previous uh, slide you get the correlation coefficient as minus 0 0.619 so that means in a scale as we have shown it falls here so this is a negative correlation probably little more than 0.5 so it is tending towards a negative strong correlation that is how you understand this coefficient that means what there is a negative correlation of the data between x and y and the strength of that is about towards strong strength or you know towards strong correlation and the value is 0.619 let us take another example this is the sales and profit of automobiles in the year 2000 and various manufacturers are shown here and their sales figures are given here so you can once again calculate the x square and y square and xy and the sigma are all given here and when you calculate you will find the correlation coefficient as 0 0.901 that means year 2000 has been very good for the automobile manufacturers it is showing a very high correlation okay and the sales and profits are pretty good in all the organizations that's the way you understand definitely 0 0.9 is a very good correlation and it's a positive correlation that means as the sales increases profit also increase a correlation greater than 0 0.8 is generally described as strong whereas a correlation less than 0.5 is generally described as weak however they depend on the type of situation where we apply a study utilizing scientific data may require stronger correlation compared to social science data say for example if you talk about especially on uh, uh, healthcare and then you know the uh, pharma industries the drug efficacies or vaccine efficacies you need to have a very high correlation between the drug administered and the efficacy then only you can deem it is pretty good okay it's a very stringent uh, requirement in uh, such areas so that's why it is depending on the type of data that is being examined the correlation coefficient has to be used in business decisions